Hey, I'm Matt Spencer, and welcome to Powerboat Television. This week on the show, we're tackling another one of our land versus water challenges with Yamaha. So this is normally the point in the race where I'd introduce my challenger, Brian Hudgen, but after going undefeated in the first two challenges, he's decided to gracefully retire. So we have the same race, but a new face in Aaron Dowden. Aaron, how are you? Good, how you doing, Matt? Good, so Brian decided to uh, to call it quits? Yeah, you know, he's got to, uh, he's got a lot on his plate these days. Seems to be pushing more pencils than pedals, so. I, I pity him, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know. Well, that's what happens when you got the heavy work mode. But his loss is your gain, as you're the new challenger representing the land side for the challenge. Uh, how do you feel about that? Oh, listen, I feel great. Any day that you're going to get me out on a motorcycle instead of the office, it's a good day for me. Perfect. So speaking of which, why don't you tell me about the bike you're going to be riding today? Absolutely. Well, this is the top of the line, man. This is our FJR 1300. It's got all the bells and whistles on it. Everything from adjustable windscreen to heated grips, integrated turn signals, cruise control. You know, that's just to name a few. It's the Cadillac of, uh, of motorcycles, it seems. 1,298 cc's of pure awesomeness. <laughs> well, that reminds me of the machine I'm riding today, the FX Cruiser SHO. All the bells and whistles that your Wave Runners offer. And if, if it looks familiar, that's because it is. We profiled it last year on the show. So if you visit our website or search for it on boattest.ca, you'll be able to find the full review. So the way this is gonna work, we're gonna circumvent Lake Simcoe, kinda go all the way around and end up back here. Five stops along the way, whoever takes the most stops wins. Awesome, man. Well, I was kinda hoping to be a little choppier out there for you, but you know what? Smooth water, smooth roads, let's hit it. Awesome, may the best man win. Sounds good, buddy. Let's get geared up. All right, Aaron, this goes without saying, but when we race, we race like gentlemen. So on the count of three, three, two, one. Our first leg in this five point race around Lake Simcoe would be the longest. We'd both be heading from Barrie to Aurelia, where we would meet just before the Atherley Narrows. This is a risky stretch, any east wind and I would be in trouble. But the day was hot and humid and I had smooth sailing the whole way. Once Aaron made it out of town and onto the highway, he was able to open it up a little, but was soon bogged down by construction. I came roaring in and the first point was mine. I normally say what took you so long, but I haven't been here for that long. I guess you won this round, Matty. You know, I was thinking I might have blew you away on this one, but I haven't been here for that long. It was a close uh, close leg. Well, I'm looking at the wind picking up here in a little bit, so looks like your road's not gonna be so smooth on round two. Well, speaking of which, you know where you need to go? Absolutely. Let's head out. Let's hit it. Later in the show, we will check back in the Land vs. Water Challenge. When we last left off, I had just taken the lead on the first stop in our Land vs. Water Challenge. We had a new challenger this year, Aaron Dowden, who was ready to keep the winning streak alive for land. Having just left Aurelia, we were off to our next stop in Beaverton. While Aaron had smooth sailing on the roads, I too was lucky with an unusually calm day on the middle of Lake Simcoe, so I was pretty confident I'd go up two to nothing. I must say, I'm, uh, I'm impressed you took that one. I thought that one could have been either, gone either way, and looks like you took it. Well, it's good. It was nice. I had a nice little ride out there on the two laners. Got some nice tight and twisties, and uh, had a beautiful ride on round number two. It's a mill pond out there, too, so that's why I could have kept going. But Well, tied one each. So I guess uh, the next one's really going to make or break uh, the rest of the day. Sounds good, buddy. Well, I'll let you get your helmet on, and. We'll carry on. Get geared up for round three. Absolutely.
With the score knotted up at one apiece, we didn't waste any time moving on to the next stop. Having made our way to Aurelia, then to Beaverton, we were now headed south with a quick sprint to Jackson's Point. That sounds like a motorcycle. I'm not gonna gloat too much, but uh, cause I knew that was, well that one was sorta of in my favor. Well, I gotta tell you, seeing you here in a different shirt, I knew you must have been here for a while. <laughs> oh, about 50 minutes, so it probably took about half the time. Did you at least enjoy the ride in? Uh, you know what, this is probably the most beautiful part of the uh, trip so far. There's a lot of nice tight and twisties right along the lake, there's some beautiful scenery, so. Even though I lost this round, I had a great ride. Good, well, I mean, hey, it doesn't matter how much I won by, it's still only one leg, but I now do have a commanding 2-1 lead. Uh, a lot of pressure's on for this next leg. I think I'm gonna have to turn it up here around four to uh, try and beat you to the next stop, because I don't want the race to be over just yet. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's, let's go, give her. let's get to it. Sounds good, buddy. With a two to one lead going into the next leg, I had some motivation knowing that with another win, the race would be out of reach for Aaron. And finally, we'd have a win for water. This leg would prove to be most interesting. Our goal was Bradford, and while Aaron had more road to travel, I had to head inland down the Holland River. Once I reached the river and began my trek inland, I was gifted an incredible sight. The river was glass calm, providing one of those moments that keep boaters coming back for more. What a good ride, man. I must say it feels good, but that was a good you were win, a man. Worthy adversary. That was a good win. You know, I have to go back to the office holding my head down. Uh, you know, Brian's going to want to come out of retirement, get back here for the next race. No, he's he's out. But I mean, uh, you know, there's always next year. So I guess this could be the official offer for. I'm always up for a rematch. Listen, any day you want to get me out riding and out of the office, I'm in for the challenge. Perfect. So let's book it for next year. Let's do it. And we'll see you guys next week.